What if I told you that one of the closest galaxies to our own Milky Way is actually hiding a big surprise? A surprise that could change the way we understand the history and evolution of our galactic neighborhood. That's right, I'm talking about the Small Magellanic Cloud. It is a dwarf galaxy that orbits the Milky Way, along with its bigger companion, the Large Magellanic Cloud. You may have seen some of my previous videos where I explained some of the fascinating features and mysteries of the Small Magellanic Cloud, such as its irregular shape, its star formation rate, and its interaction with the Large Magellanic Cloud and the Milky Way. But today, I have some exciting news to share with you. A new study has revealed that the Small Magellanic Cloud is not one, but two galaxies, one behind the other. How did the researchers discover this? What are the differences between the two parts of the Small Magellanic Cloud? How are they affecting the Large Magellanic Cloud and the Milky Way? And what does this discovery mean for our understanding of the both galaxies? These are some of the questions that I will answer in this video, using the latest data and evidence from various sources, such as the Gaia Observatory, the Australian Square Kilometer Array Pathfinder, and the Apogee Survey. So, if you're ready to learn more about the hidden galaxy in our backyard, stay tuned and let's dive in. The first thing we need to do is to understand how the researchers were able to reveal the two parts of the Small Magellanic Cloud. As you may know, the Small Magellanic Cloud is about 200,000 light years away from us, which means that it is very difficult to observe and measure its properties, such as its position, velocity, and chemical composition. To overcome this challenge, the researchers use different sources of information, each with its own advantages and limitations. The first source is the Gaia Observatory, which allows us to see the distribution and movement of the stars in the small Magellanic Cloud, and to identify the ones that belong to it and the ones that are just in the foreground or background. The second source is the Australian Square Kilometer Array Pathfinder, which allows us to see the shape and size of the small Magellanic Cloud and to measure its rotation and velocity. And finally, the third source is the Apogee Survey, which allows us to see the diversity and complexity of the SMC and to compare it with the LMC and the Milky Way. By combining and analyzing these three sources of data, the researchers were able to reveal the two parts of the small Magellanic Cloud, one behind the other, they found that the two parts have different chemical compositions, velocities, and masses, and that they are both interacting with the Large Magellanic Cloud. They also found that the two parts are not aligned with each other, but are tilted by about 20 degrees. This means that the Small Magellanic Cloud is not a simple and coherent galaxy, but a complex and dynamic system of two smaller galaxies. This is a remarkable discovery and it raises many questions about the nature and origin of the Small Magellanic Cloud. Now that we know that the Small Magellanic Cloud is composed of two smaller galaxies, one behind the other, let's take a closer look at them and see how they differ from each other. The researchers named the two parts of the Small Magellanic Cloud as the SMC Main and the SMC Wing, based on their location and appearance. The SMC main is the part that is closer to us, and it is the brighter and more massive part of the Small Magellanic Cloud. The SMC wing is the part that is farther from us, and it is the fainter and less massive part of the Small Magellanic Cloud. The SMC main has a mass of about 2.5 billion solar masses, while the SMC wing has a mass of about 0.8 billion solar masses. The SMC main has a diameter of about 10,000 light years, while the SMC wing has a diameter of about 6,000 light years. Finally, the SMC main has a more spherical shape, while the SMC wing has a more elongated shape. The two parts of the SMC also have different chemical compositions, which tell us about their age and history. The SMC main has a higher metallicity than the SMC wing, which means that it has more elements heavier than hydrogen and helium, such as carbon, oxygen, and iron. These elements are produced by nuclear fusion in the cores of stars, and they are released into the interstellar medium when the stars die. The higher metallicity of the SMC main suggests that it has a longer and more active history of star formation and evolution than the SMC wing, 
and that it has been enriched by more generations of stars. The SMC wing, on the other hand, has a lower metallicity, which means that it has fewer elements heavier than hydrogen and helium, and that it has a shorter and less active history of star formation and evolution than the SMC main, and that it has been enriched by fewer generations of stars. This also suggests that it is older than the SMC main, and that it may have formed in a different environment than the SMC main. They also have different velocities, which tell us about their motion and interaction. The SMC main has a higher velocity than the SMC wing, which means that it is moving faster than the SMC wing. The higher velocity of the SMC main suggests that it is more influenced by the gravitational pull of the Large Magellanic Cloud and the Milky Way, and that it is more affected by the tidal forces that are stretching and distorting the Small Magellanic Cloud. The SMC wing, on the other hand, has a lower velocity, which means that it is moving slower than the SMC main. The lower velocity of the SMC wing suggests that it is less influenced by the gravitational pull of the LMC and the Milky Way, and that it is less affected by the tidal forces that are stretching and distorting the SMC. This also suggests that it is more stable and coherent than the SMC main, and that it may have a more regular and circular orbit around the SMC main. As you can see, the two parts of the Small Magellanic Cloud are very different from each other, and they are both interacting with the Large Magellanic Cloud and the Milky Way. This interaction is not only affecting the dynamics and evolution of the Small Magellanic Cloud, but also the formation and disruption of new stars. The discovery that the Small Magellanic Cloud is composed of two smaller galaxies, one behind the other, is a major breakthrough in the field of astronomy and astrophysics. It changes the way we understand these galaxies, and it challenges some of the previous assumptions and models about their origin and evolution. It also contributes to the broader knowledge and understanding of the structure and history of the Milky Way and its satellite galaxies. Let's see how and why. First, this discovery helps us to explain some of the puzzling features and mysteries of the SMC and the LMC such as their irregular shape, their star formation rate, and their interaction with the Milky Way. Second, this discovery helps us to explore some of the possible scenarios and hypotheses about the origin and evolution of the SMC and the LMC. One of the most popular models is that the SMC and the LMC were once part of a larger galaxy that was disrupted by the Milky Way, and that the SMC and the LMC are the remnants of that galaxy. However, this model has some problems, such as explaining the different metallicity and velocity of the SMC and the LMC, and the different orbital periods and inclinations of the SMC and the LMC. Another model is that the SMC and the LMC were once independent galaxies that were captured by the Milky Way, and that the SMC and the LMC have different origins and histories. Third, this also helps us to learn more about the structure and history of the Milky Way and its satellite galaxies. The SMC and the LMC are the largest and brightest satellite galaxies of the Milky Way, and they are the only ones that can be seen with the naked eye. They are also the only ones that have a significant impact on the Milky Way, such as transferring mass and gas, inducing star formation, and perturbing the halo and the disk. As you can see, the discovery that the SMC is composed of two smaller galaxies is a very important and exciting discovery, and it has many implications and significance for the understanding of the SMC and the LMC, and for the understanding of the Milky Way and its satellite galaxies. It also raises many new questions and challenges that need to be answered, and it opens up many new directions and opportunities for further research and exploration. I hope you enjoyed this video and learn something new and interesting about the hidden galaxy in our backyard. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.